Welcome to the use case video for the Algorithm Visualization Vibe, Visual Interpreter of Bytecodes for Educators. This video will begin in the hypertext associated with the Vibe. Before you start the visualization, it is recommended that you read sections 1 through 4 of the hypertext associated with the JVM simulation. Once you have read the sections, you are ready to begin visualizing the JVM. First, click the link to launch JHAVE. The input generator will appear. Here you can choose to simulate a hard-coded example or load an example of your own. First, we will choose a hard-coded example. Click on the drop-down menu in the bottom right-hand corner and select one of the examples. Then click OK. The software may take several seconds to load the visualization at this point. When it appears, you will see the opening snapshot. On the right, there is a pseudocode tab with a list of bytecodes associated with the program you are visualizing. Another tab is located here called Info. Click on the Info tab to see what Java source code you are visualizing. Then look back at the pseudocode tab where the bytecodes are displayed. They correspond to the Java code. Note that the line numbers in the pseudocode window do not match the line numbers in the info tab. Instead, the line numbers of the bytecodes refer to a bytecode's location and memory. When you are familiar with the code, use the next button in the lower left hand corner to step through the visualization. The left section of the screen is the depiction of memory. Each snapshot depicts how memory looks after the execution of one bytecode. The bytecode just executed is highlighted in green in the pseudocode tab. Any changes in memory are highlighted in the picture on the left in the same color. The bytecode to be executed next is highlighted in red. Note that the corresponding line in Java code is highlighted in red as well. Along the bottom of the screen are step buttons which will allow you to proceed backward and forward through the visualization. As you step through the visualization, watch how each bytecode manipulates the different areas in memory. The sections of the screen on the left are as follows. The runtime stack with frames pushed on it is in the lower left hand corner. Extending from the top element of the runtime stack is a picture of the current frame. It is simply a zoom in on the top of the runtime stack. Within the frame, there is a local variable array and an operand stack depicted. If a new method is called, which occurs in this example at line 11 of the factorial method, the pseudocode window on the right will refresh to show the bytecodes associated with the invoked method. Like the pseudocode window, the frame will be updated to a new color to show the memory allocated for that method call. Now we will load a new example. Select the connection tab in the top left corner. Select JVM simulation. And the input generator will appear. This time, select load the file and navigate to a Java source code file you have prepared. At this point, you can edit the code in the panel in any way you want. Be sure that the file meets the requirements as defined in section 4 of the hypertext. When satisfied, click OK. If your code does not meet the specification, the visualizer will produce an error. 
Otherwise, you may proceed as before with the visualization. Thank you for watching this use case video for VIBE, the JBM simulator.